how are you guys doing i hope you guys are having a wonderful day so today i'm going to be showing you guys what i use and how i mount my insta 360 on my electric scooter so people have been asking me this about how do you mount your insta 360 camera on the electric scooter now i'm showing you guys right now the clamp that i use this clamp is from men frodo yeah see if i can get you guys close right there so you can see it that is the name of the company right there if you guys could freeze and get the name so that's the company that makes this clamp this clamp is not a joke this clamp is not one of those cheap clamps that most people will attach on their scooter and your insta 360 will easily fall off um so when you get this clamp i will tell you now the other stuff that might it might come with it or it might not but you're going to need this in order to mount the insta 360 on your scooter so let me get this stuff real quick there's things that you need for to mount this so one is the insta 360 uh selfie stick now this selfie stick i just want to let you know right now this is not strong at this point this area right here is extremely weak what's gonna happen if you're riding and you're going through bumps this area that's screwed in is going to come off completely this have happened to me multiple times when riding and i decided to use a lock tight so if you can unscrew this somehow you can try to heat it up or something but it will come off and um, with your riding so you, you don't want that so find a way to take this area off and then put a lock tight on the thread as you put it back in this will make sure that this does not come out from here whatsoever red lock tight red uh let me see if i have so i like showing you guys what i'm talking about so you're not like what is he saying so remember i said red not blue not any type of lock tight I'm talking about red Loctite. They are these things. Okay. You can see it on the camera right there. Try to show it to you guys very clear. Not the blue one. You need the red one. Okay. Put that away. So the red one is going to lock this thing at the bottom because it is weak. It is cheap. Almost uh, lost my 360 camera multiple times thinking that this is going to hold it so once you have locked tight that now let's jump to this other step which is this you need one of this this is top quality stuff and I, sometimes it actually comes with the clamp itself so once you get it this is gonna you press this down it should go in here i want to make sure that this screw is actually opened up so we're gonna open this up right now come out a little bit okay so once that's done this goes straight in here and then you are going to tighten up this area bam all right see like right there it's tight and then we go right here okay this is just gonna screw onto this Bam. like that okay and then you mount your insta 360 i'm trying to keep this thing straight so you can actually screw in all right so there it is this is how you're what you're looking at right now see that 
that's how it is now i'm going to show you guys most this clamp will hold on to pretty much anything if you can get the clearance to get this thing in there this clamp will clamp down on anything so hard it is crazy it is crazy uh how much power this clamp has so i'm gonna show you guys right now on my dutron that's right there all right so this clamp allows you to reposition this in multiple ways but you know you can if you want to have the insta360 off like this you can uh, clamp it down like that if you want to have the insta360 right in the front looking at you you can clamp it like that it just goes straight you see the clamp area it just goes right there and you tighten it from the other side Once this clamp goes on the scooter, it is not going anywhere. <laughs> it is it is not going anywhere. The Insta360 itself will have to fall off before this clamp even let go of this. This whole thing will have to break off before uh, this clamp goes anywhere. It is like when you tighten it, you're going to feel it. That is quality clamp. And that's why I will recommend it for those who need something a really good clamp to hold on to their insta360 as you're riding this clamp is strong enough to hold on to a bigger camera like a bigger dslr so it can hold on to your pole and the insta360 so this is how i mount my insta360 on my electric scooter so um, i have a more complicated uh system now that i use when i'm uh when i'm riding so but that this is how i've always done it for a long time i use this clamp so I, if you guys can go try it out uh i don't have any affiliate link i don't think i need affiliate link to be helping you guys or recommending stuff or whatever so well you can just look it up and you should be able to find this clamp. this is a heavy duty clamp promise you you're not gonna regret that if you can clamp down on anything you're good to go and um, just be careful with if you can find another um if you can actually find another selfie stick now nah, this camera is refusing to focus right there let me slap you <laughs> all right so i just need you guys to replace this if you can if you can look for a better quality selfie stick I think you should get it uh, because I do not trust this Insta360 selfie stick uh, pole at all. If you lock tight this area, like I said, you should be good to go. But other than that, that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask uh, about uh, the Insta360 or how I mount it and all that stuff. Now, I know a lot of you are going to want to know what about the back the insta360 that i have on the back i went down a little bit too much right there we're in the garage right now so this insta360 pole that i have mounted in the back as you can see this is a more kind of complex mountain uh, for distance so that will have to be at another time or whatever if i actually have time to try to show you guys how i did all that stuff but it's it's not that difficult but you just need to understand that let me go back to it real quick maybe i can explain it you just need to understand that when you attach this to your insta360 that you also need something else to hold onto this you cannot expect to for one section to hold onto the 360. It's gonna be a lot of movement and most likely you're gonna lose this thing. So once you have put it, once you have had the attachment go through here, then you will also need to have one attached in the back area to hold onto it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, appreciate all the support.